Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial, and this is going to be all about making um, leaves or trees blowing the wind. If you've ever seen it in a lot of games where all the trees blow in sort of unison, along with any sort of asset that you might have on your terrain. So, wind zones work um, best or... I'm not 100% but I think they only work properly with trees that were made in the tree editor. So if you've got a terrain like me, as long as you've got some trees that you've painted on which were made in, a, in the tree editor within Unity, and the tree editor can be imported by right clicking importing a new asset and choosing tree creator. And as long as they're made like that, they'll be affected by um, the wind that's actually within controlled by Unity. So first of all, all we're going to have to do, it's quite simple to do, is we go game object, create other, and wind zone. Or what you can do is say you create an empty game object, which could you could put anywhere in the scene. You can go component, miscellaneous, and wind zone. But for now we'll create other of a game object and we'll choose a wind zone. Now it's put it into the corner of my scene. Now initially you can see the scene will actually preview for us and you can see that the wind zone directly affects all of the trees or bushes that we've got within our scene as long as we've set the terrain settings high enough because if I go farther away you can't even see that it's going on but that's just so we don't have to render so much all of the time so this um, wind zone when it, you bring it in normally it'll be set to directional so if you rotate the object like you would with any object it will affect the direction of which the wind is moving and the, which the tra trees or bushes do sway. So, the big thing about this is that there's two different types. As I said, there's directional, which will, no matter where you place it in your scene, it'll always be the same, it's only the rotation that's affected. Or there's a, a mode be called spherical. So what's ever in the radius of your object, or this wind zone specifically, the trees will be affected and now it's really dependent on what effect you are going for you can make like a helicopter downdraft or something like that but as I move it about you can see the objects affected by the spherical wind zone so we'll keep the directional um, wind zone here so and you can adjust the settings so the main wind is going to be general sway and craziness that you give to your wind so if you set it say was you know we only want something really subtle so we'll set it to about 0 0.1 and we get you know fairly timid sort of wind now we don't want as much turbulence and that'll affect how often things are swaying in between and you know it doesn't look 100% realistic so we can set it to that to a 0 0.1 and then we get something very subtle. We can obviously increase the um, the main wind, maybe to a 0.5, and maybe increase the turbulence slightly. So from looking at our scene now, yes, it looks it looks slightly more realistic, and apply the same sort of balance to the entire scene. So it looks like there's a little bit of wind. Again, all these. Um, effects you'll want to just try out yourself and see what you can um, affect but that's just a, a very basic way to start to add a little bit more realism to scenes which have a lot of trees or bushes or anything that's created with the tree creator and is on your terrain so um, I might do another tutorial looking into how to make oh, uh, curtains blowing the wind something like that using cloth physics so again thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers